what is called by Schmidt reaction this is a reaction generally to convert sodium phenoxide derivatives into their corresponding carboxylic acid salts and later they can be converted to their corresponding carboxylic acids by acidic workup so the reaction conditions for Kolbe-Schmidt reaction is the requirement of high temperature and pressure and the source for the carboxylating re reagent is gaseous carbon dioxide So if we consider the reaction mechanism Initially the carbon dioxide molecule is being chelated with the sodium phenoxide to generate this intermediate This chelation causes two uh, feasible uh, outcomes. Number one is it actually activates the carbon oxygen double bond of carbon dioxide. To, uh, to convert carbon dioxide in a better electrophile and also it chelates with carbon dioxide for a preferable ortho substitution Okay, so in this chelate intermediate, the negative charge of the phenoxide anion facilitates the nucleophilic attack of the benzene pi electron cloud towards the carbon center of carbon dioxide molecule. Which results in the formation of this intermediate. And then the rear rearization step happens. And since this medium is basic, the actual product is being formed is the
sodium salt. which then can be converted to the actual desired product by acidic workup. So this is the mechanism for coal waste meat reaction. Potassium plus is not suitable for orthoselectivity. So if we replace the sodium phenoxide with potassium phenoxide then the reaction happens but the orthoselectivity is much more lowered compared to the situation when sodium uh, is being used. So what is the reason for this? Obviously the potassium <coughs> sorry so obviously the potassium plus ion being a large cation it is not suitable for chelation. And that's why the orthoselectivity is lost. So this is the general aspects of coal waste meat reaction. The reaction can also be carried out by using sodium or potassium carbonate in place of carbon dioxide so this is it thank you for watching this video